Okay, still got this plugged in. It's got it started up. New compressor. Just uh, looking at the uh, device manager tool here. Get to the menu. So, DFD is running good. Got the compressor pressures right here. It's all good. And we got the uh, temperatures right here. So, it's getting to be about 58 degrees right there. Supply air. 72. Turn there. 82 degrees outside air. Basking in the sun here in the Arizona desert. <laughs> Came here to take a look at a drive that was swapped out but wouldn't communicate. But I get here today. It's been sitting over the weekend and it's running on auto on the Lend bus, it looks like. Getting the uh, computer connected to double check, but. Everything loaded from the main baseboard and everything. Let's see what's going on here. We do have some alarms though. Let's check those. Current alarm. Is that an econ? Yeah. Economizer. I think he did say it was an actuator. There's something else that's going on. Calm fail. Okay, that's a different thing. See what's going on with that. So we got a main baseboard calm linking together. Linking together for the I actually have a seized actuator in this other old unit. Looks like it's picking up both drives, yeah. The new 580 is uh, element 41. showing up on the bus though okay I don't know what happened to my video clips but I had recorded some more while I was on site I thought but it was getting pretty warm at about 82 degrees in the shade and really warm with the Sun so here we're gonna just go to the manual real quick to kind of show you some stuff so right here is the uh, settings for that drive when it's on uh, the local equipment network there and then let's go uh, look at some uh, perimeters. I'll show you what was up with this thing. So we're going to go down through the menus. Down to configuration. Okay, go down to SP where they're hiding all the uh, configs for like the fan motors and stuff. Operation and how it controls. Like right here if you're using like VAV and stuff. Um, and this is the one that should be enabled right here. Um, being a VFD stage air volume, but it was disabled and it was probably from a tech previously when the VFD originally failed. So, um, somebody diagnosed the stuff and then I think it sat a while then got to new parts, went to go put them in and then it just wasn't cooperating. So, um, once this was enabled, then, uh, rebooted the, uh, machine and the, the drive and everything. And then it would, uh, send the motor perimeters to the drive on the boot up and everything and at that point then it was able to uh run the fan command turn on the fan do the test to run the speed test everything but for some reason i lost the videos of that but i'm going to show you a clip of uh, kind of running one of these units uh on the bench okay finally got this supply fan to take the 
configuration had to get within the limits of the VFD. And anyway, so now using the uh, device manager here, let's give it a percentage. 10%. If I go too fast, it's going to get me the uh, missing phase if I'm not having enough current. But let's do that. There we go. Should be 10%, which looks like 5.9 hertz. And the output of the drive is active. Let's try creeping up to 15. And you'll see that kind of also shows here on the navigator. That bumped it up 15%. And there we go. Expected that. Expected that. Yes, you're not going to work like that. And so you keep tripping until I turn that down. There she goes. Now, if I had a motor connected, we wouldn't be getting the faults. But anyway, pretty cool. Something to play with, especially as these new 580 drives come out. They could be fun to put in the older units. Didn't have the parameters listed. Right.